Hello everyone, welcome back to another session of Dentistry and more. So we are continuing our dental age estimation methods. So far we finished uh, the emergence method, Gustafsson method, the role of third molars, the palatal rogue role and the dental DNA and its role in age estimation. And lastly, we have histologic method. So one thing is the Gustafsson method. Gustafsson method we already discussed. You can watch it here. Gustafsson method uses six criteria. It includes uh, attrition, dentin, translucency, secondary dentin, and root apposition. So many things are there. So this is a morphological method as well as the histological method. So dentine translucency we can use root dentine which is translucent in third decade of life it begins at the apex and advance coronally it decreases the diameter of dentinal tubules increases the intra tubular calcification and thereby increases translucency and Johnson recognized it as best to age estimate so second thing is we can use incremental lines of cement incremental lines of cementum so incremental lines of cementum is another tool for age estimation that is uh, a cellular cementum incremental lines are used for the age estimation that is a mineralized unstained cross section of teeth preferably mandibular central incisor and third molars so mandibular central incisor and third molars that is a mineralized unstained cross section of central incisors and third molars that is a mandibular third molars and central incisor and they claim that the accuracy to within two to three years the accuracy within two to three years that is the authors, authors are Kagrer and Kagrer and Group G R U P E Kagrer K A G E R E R and Group. They said that the accuracy to within two to three years. So these hypomineralized bands in the incremental line which indicates sometimes pregnancy, sometimes a skeletal trauma, sometimes a renal disorders. So all can be related to the personal person's life history which can facilitate identification. So in histologic method we can use the incremental lines of cementum for the age estimation that we use a central or third molars the Kagra and group they said the accuracy will be within two to three years so that is all about uh, the histologic method and dental age estimation so we finished uh, many methods all methods are important for exam so it was basically prepared on exam point of view the Dermigen's method the Gustafsson method the Dermigen method was uh, completely a radiographic method where we have A to H and then we convert it to maturity score and a final maturity score we will get from a uh, calculation and we compare it with the table. Gustafsson have regressive changes, then we have roll of third molars, then we have dental DNA, then we have palatal rogue pattern and finally the histologic method. Sometimes the question directly will be like dental age estimation so you can combine all these techniques in a single answer but make sure that you don't overwrite things because it will be asked commonly as a short note 3 marks or 5 marks so i uh, hope you understood this dental age estimation and its role in uh, forensic dentistry i'll come up with a new topic in dentistry and more thank you